Now, when you come over to my website, franklinmodel.com, you're going to basically see that this is one ad right inside of here. And when you scroll down, you're going to basically see I have a couple of ads. This is one ad here. This is one ad here. This is also another ad here. And all of this are actually making me over $4 every single hour from Google. Now, what is Google? And what is Google AdSense? And how are they even paying you in the first place? Now, Google AdSense is actually the ad section of Google where they get to, you know, uh, sponsor advertisers' ads on your content creation hub or channel. And and they actually use the particular medium to also pay you. So we must likely say that AdSense is most likely the payment portal for Google. Now, when you come over here, this is adsense.google.com. You're going to basically see it says here we value your content. Creating content takes time and you actually need to make it profitable. Now, I'm scrolling down, you can see they have over 2 million users on Google AdSense. And you can see the several steps and processes on how to get started here. One is to create a Google account. Two is actually to put up your phone number and postal address. And three is connect your site to AdSense. And you can actually get started with making over $54 every single hour. Then, it's not just about this. There's also a step by step process on how to actually set up a blog that will actually work with AdSense that would earn you this money right here. Now, what you want to do first of all is to go ahead and create a blog. Now, creating a blog these days is even much more easier than it has ever been. I've created several videos on how to set up your blog, but then I'll show you exactly what to do right here in this particular video. Now, the very first thing here is to go ahead and set up your hosting and buy your domain. Now, your hosting and your domain are the most important elements in this particular process, and you need to actually take very, very huge precautions when you're setting up this particular process. Now, let's do it right here. You want to go ahead right now and type in your browser, franklinman.com slash hosting guy. I'm actually recommending hosting guy to you guys for your hosting and domain because there are a couple of other hosting companies out there but then the set of features they give you access to and the ability to process your website over time actually matters a lot and this is what most companies don't tell you because sometimes you actually think it is way 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 cheaper but then you get to end up to run into the rut of a future accident and this will actually get to truncate the ability to earn as much as what I'm going to share with you guys in this particular video today. Now coming over to AdSense here you want to proceed and click on claim a deal and here we actually want to get our hosting for as cheap as 2.99 dollars every single month this is actually about 3k or 3.5 every month for yourself and with hosting guy here you are even able to get a free domain for yourself and at the same time get a lot of huge discounts in your hosting plan i'm going to show you how to get all of those freebies here with hosting guy meaning that there is even no need to go ahead and start looking for a cheaper hosting because you're going to get a lot of discounts here using the links i have now once you're inside of this particular website using my link because this is the very first step in order to get a very huge discount from me you actually want to go ahead and click on add to cart because because here you're going to be saving a lot of money on your hosting and getting it at 2.99 every single month now you can actually come over to this page and you see choose a period you're choosing one month 12 months 24 months 48 months honestly do not even choose one month you actually want to choose 12 months 24 months or 48 months but then if you're a big saver like me and you actually want to cut down the cost of expenses over the years with your hosting plan i'm going to go over to 48 months now there's something that hosting companies don't tell you and that is the fact that if you actually pay for your first year which is gonna be very very cheap after that first year the second year you get to pay almost times three of what it is and this is really where we can actually pay for 48 months which is four years and save hugely on it now scrolling down you can basically see that you're gonna be getting a 48 month plan for 143 dollars and every other thing here is on discount two extra months for free a free domain name a free domain who is privacy protection and a complete setup for yourself now I'm coming over here I want to select the country I'm currently in Nigeria so I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down to Nigeria And when I scroll down to Nigeria, you're going to basically see that I actually have getting a 75% discount. Yes, this is because you are using the link I have right down there in the description and also in the pinned comment. And for the taxes, there are zero taxes for you. Now, coming over here, you have a total of $143.52. But then, guys, I'm still going to give you extra discount. What you're going to do right here is come over here and click on have a coupon code. Type in yes. Type in my name, Frank. Use Frank as a coupon code and click on apply. Now, once you click on apply right now, you're going to see that this particular total is now $129. Now, instead of you paying $143 or even over $500 for your hosting, you're going to simply pay $129 for four years. See, go ahead and check. Go ahead and ask. I beat my chest. I'm so confident that there is no company that would give you this particular hosting at $129 
for four years especially if it is one that will give you all of the features like hosting that would that what you want to do right now is to go ahead and input your card details and all of those and then submit and make payment right so if you're in nigeria then there are a couple of options you can actually use to make online payments one you can basically use the providus platinum card for international payment or you can also get a us card from cheaper cash or payday of which you can also use or the uba dollar africa card will also act as a very good option instead of here now once you're done with making purchase of your hosting you can also get access to adding a free domain they're just going to ask you hey what do you want as a free domain and you can impute the name and that is it you can actually get to add it in as a free add-on and you can actually go ahead and install wordpress for yourself now the installation of wordpress i actually have a video where i've showed you exactly what to do and how to you know set up your blog in less than 10 minutes yes for real just 10 minutes your blog is fully set up i'm gonna leave that video for you in the description of this particular video check the second link down there in the description that video is what you should watch right now but beyond this once you're actually done with setting up your wordpress blog the next thing i actually want to do right now is frankly how exactly do you follow through with this particular process and get to start earning this much for you because the blog will earn you the money it is this particular process that will earn you the money and let's dive into that right now now what you want to do first of all is to think of what exactly you want to create content about right what exactly is your blog going to be about is it going to be a romance is it going to be health is it going to be about how to make money online is it going to be about relationship whatever it is just choose something specifically it doesn't matter because google is going to accept anybody and everybody and you also would get paid but in this particular case i'm going to be using make money online right so what i'm going to do next is to go over to this particular website called keywordshitter.com and i'm going to come over to keywordshitter.com i'm going to type in make money online and once i type in this particular base keyword i'm going to go ahead and click on start shitting now i'm putting in start shitting right instead of here and this particular tool is going to generate me over 1,000 other, you know, lookalike keywords like what I want. And once I've generated as much keyword as I actually want, I'm going to go over and click on stop. Now, once I click on stop, the first thing I want to do is to come over here, control C, open up a new doc. I'm going to open up a new document instead of here. And once I open up this particular document, I'm going to paste in all of these keywords right here. So you can see all the keywords I have. This is over six pages of keywords and it's still shooting a lot more. Okay, so I'm gonna say make money from home, make money online in Nigeria, make money without investment. Now, all of these are what people are actually looking for. So, what I'm gonna do next is to copy this particular you know line. And once I copy the keyword, I can actually go ahead and start creating content around this particular keyword. But I must actually tell you that because I'm blogging it is actually a very competitive space and i'm actually looking at several options that will get me to start ranking very fast and start getting a lot of viewers so that i can actually start making money with adsense quicker than expected now once i come in here i'm going to go back to this website called answer the public once i go over to answer the public.com i am going to insert this particular keyword now what this website simply does is to help me to like create a couple of other questions that people are actually asking around that particular keyword that I have generated. So I'm going to open up this particular website right now. Now, once you're here inside of this particular website, what you want to do right now is to go ahead and paste in that particular you know keyword you have. And for location, I usually would like to use United States. Why? Because most sometimes your own location like Nigeria might not have enough data on the internet. So you want to click on search. And once you click on search inside of here, it is going to show you a couple of questions and other results of people or what they are most likely looking for from the internet space. Now, what is actually going to be showing you is other question, other proposition, other comparison that people are actually searching for when they search for this particular keyword. Now, we're going to scroll down and start getting a couple of options. As you can see, let me just scroll to the last and then give you guys a couple of insights. Make money online from home from Amazon. Make money online at home for free. And let's go to questions. Make money online with an investment. Can I make money online from home? All right. So when you come over here, you can see a couple of questions that most people are asking. And scrolling down, you can see these are actually, you know, prepositions 
right around that particular keyword that you basically have coming down again you can see this is a comparison and these are you know a couple of different options that it is giving you right now that you can use now in this particular section it's going to show you all of the contents here in alphabeticals and you can see it says here how to make money online for beginners from home for free how to build an online business and scrolling down you can see a couple of other options ways to make extra money online from home now i actually love this particular you know um, option here uh ways to make extra money online from home and i can simply just say 15 ways to make extra money online from home so i'm going to copy this up right now and i'm going to come here so i'm going to say chat gpt write me a blog post on 15 ways to make extra money from home in 2024 okay so coming over here it's actually going to start you know writing this content for me now it's going to share with me a couple of ways that i can actually make a lot of money from home and a couple of different options that people out there who are most likely in looking for this part of keyword will also going to be able to use to start generating income for themselves now within a minute it's done right and you can see the options that it's giving here all of these are very very legit you know online businesses that people can actually you know get to start doing but i'm going to do this now i'm going to copy this and once I copy it up, honestly, if you go ahead and use this particular content, Google is going to penalize you. They will not even allow you because they know AI written content and they will not really allow that on their platform. I'm going to go over to Quillbot here. And Quillbot is a quick paraphrasing tool that you can easily use to paraphrase your content. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to paste it and I'm going to select the mode creative. And once I select the mode creative, I am going to go ahead and paraphrase the content. Okay. So I can actually select uh, creative here and you can see from 500 words, we have 581 words, but then everything has actually been edited and, you know, changed for the best. So you can see here, there are different options that we have right instead of here. Now, once I'm done with this, what I'm going to do next is to also personally edit this content. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to edit by adding all of the titles back right so i'm going to add all of the titles back on each and every of these uh points so this is what you can actually simply do yourself while you are working on this particular content but in order to save us time uh so we can move forward i'm going to simply copy this particular content and once i copy it i'm going to open up our document again and i'm going to paste this particular content down here okay when I paste this content one thing i also would do is also to copy the main keyword that we used and also paste it okay so let me copy this keyword this is the title as well and paste it instead of here now once i have these two things pasted i'm going to go over to my blog you should have created a blog by now and once i'm in my blog right here one of the things i want to do right now is to go ahead and click on plugins now once i go ahead and click on plugin right instead of here it's going to show me a couple of plugins and you want to go over and add a new plugin now on adding a new plugin there is one simple plugin i want you to add right now guys and this plugin is going to be a game changer for your blog now come over here and search for the plugin rank math now the rank math plugin is an seo plugin that you basically need in order to be able to you know help your content rank up on google now you can see i already have it installed on my blog right here i'm going to click quickly update this particular plugin and once I update it, it is just going to show up as you can see right side of here. And this particular plugin is going to have like an extension in your content editing page and you're going to be able to use it for, you know, uh, optimizing your content during that process. Now I'm going to come over here to post, click on add a new post. And once I click on add a new post, the first thing I actually want to do is to go ahead and impute the title of my post. So I'm going to impute the title, 15 extra ways to make money online in 2024. And here... I'm going to scroll down again and now copy and paste my content. So if you're actually going to be blogging and you actually want to ask, so Franklin, what is actually the average amount of words that will really help me? I would say once you can actually write at about a thousand words and above, then definitely you actually can, you know, get to rank your content on Google. But then there are different techniques for SEO and I'm actually going to be sharing with you a couple of them right now. Now, coming over here to your content editor, I'm going to paste this in. And once I paste this inside of here, you can see that um, everything is just in line. But I'm going to scroll down because what I want to do here is actually have a focus keyword. Now for this focus keyword, let us not forget the keyword we had used earlier in uh, Answer the Public. And this is the keyword. I'm going to come inside of here and I'm going to paste it inside of here. 
Now, once I paste it here, uh, this particular tool will start telling you that this keyword is not in much places in your content. So what you want to do is to start, you know, putting in a couple of keywords in different areas in your content. In short, you just want to make sure that you are able to make all of these things green. Focus keyword doesn't appear in the SEO title. It doesn't have this. It doesn't have that. Just start making sure that you green them all up. Okay. Now, if you basically see what I've done here, I've been able to add a keyword in a title, in the permalink, and also in the description. And once I have this done, I can actually just go out of here and you can see that here we already have two greens. And what I'm going to do next is to make sure that we have our keyword in our focus keyword in the URL and a couple of other places. Now, let's go back and uh, get our keyword in our URL. And it's there already. You can see that one is already green. It says your focus keyword does not appear at the beginning of your content and it doesn't appear in the content itself and would also work around that, okay? So we're gonna come over here and you can see that I just added this now. Now, I added this particular keyword here, but then I made it very smooth and people will not even see that it was intentionally added for SEO purpose. So I'm gonna scroll down and at the same time, I can actually see content is king and now freelancing, yeah. Awesome. So I can actually get to expand every of this content and make sure that, you know, we have like titles. Let me put this in header two and put all of this in as headers on my content. Building them up and scrolling down, you can basically see that we actually have, you know, uh, checked a couple of things here. You can see they are green, 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 green. Now, there are also some additional errors that you also want to check and you also want to check all of this and make sure they are green at the same time there are also readability errors and you also want to make sure you check them and also for the content errors make sure you check every one of them now you don't have to check everything 100 percent but honestly you can see we have a 65 here once you actually get about 80 percent then you are good to go and this is exactly what i do with every of my content now the next thing i actually want to add is maybe you want to add a, an image okay you want to add an image instead of here and let's say we have an option to add a featured image and i'm just going to pick up a random image on this particular space let me upload a file and uh, let me just use this particular image and here on the alt text of the image i'm going to add the keyword it's very very important to add the keyword in the alt text of that particular image and also every other images that you have inside of your you know the blog article itself so once you're here i'm going to insert the keyword in the alt text of that particular image and set as my featured image and once you see well once we do that you can see we have 68 now and it's just definitely keep on increasing increasing and increasing and let me just add something else so let me add the keyword here and also add this as a header so you can see currently we have a 70 over 100 right set of here and this is quite cool but then we can actually still make it up to an 80 by you know making a couple of corrections here and there on all of the suggestions that this particular tool is giving us so once you are done you can actually go ahead and click on publish and once you click on publish on this particular article it's going to be published over on your website and you can simply go ahead and view this particular article let's view what we just published so i'm going to click on view post and you can see what the article looks like right you can see what the article looks like almost are we right too <laughs> awesome so once you've been able to put up a couple of content i usually advise to have at least 30 content in your website before you go ahead and apply for adsense but once you already have that you're going to come over to adsense.google.com and click on get started and apply now during the application process you can see you have to go ahead and type your gmail and a couple of other things but then google is going to ask you for your website or the blog that you actually want to use for adsense and with the traction you've been getting on that particular blog itself you definitely will get approved by google and I must tell you that yes, it actually takes a couple of times and you know people actually find a hard time getting approved with AdSense and all but then it is actually very feasible and it's something that you most likely will be able to achieve but at the same time, if you're able to be approved by AdSense, that is not all for the website because there are other you know companies like AdSense that will approve you even with lesser threshold and you are still going to be able to make money for yourself from your blog 
okay now if you've been able to follow me through and walk through this particular process you would actually have seen that this is more of like a full mini course on how to start blogging and at the same time how to actually start getting monetized and making money from google assets as well now what i basically do on my channel is actually share with you guys a couple of very attainable and feasible methods on how you can simply generate results from the online space now i do this because there are a couple of content on youtube right side of here that actually get to boost and talk about several figures that you know most likely that in the end it is not even feasible you can't even reach it this is all bs and this is really why i have actually decided to craft this particular content in a way that really help you to start succeeding in the new year now you actually want to go ahead and proceed to share your thoughts with me in the comments section below i actually have a whatsapp community where we share ideas we have discussions on how to make money online you actually want to use the third link in the description to access the whatsapp community at the same time if you love this video give it a thumbs up right now and subscribe to the channel smash the bell icon so that you do not miss any of my videos with these guys i'll be seeing my next video